You want to be careful of this scorpion sting. Here's your look at the new NECA toys. This is the Kenner Alien line, and this is the Scorpion Alien. Dark, empty, silent. This is deep space, and vicious aliens are attacking. One force has the guns and the guts to face these ugly monsters. Send in the heavy metal, send in the space marines. The invasion is on. Even though this isn't likely how you're going to be displaying the Scorpion Alien, I've got him standing straight up. Uh, what I'm going to do is take the dimensions for its longest length, and then of course if you want, just deconstruct him down to smaller bends and whatnot in the ankles and the knees, you feel free to do that. But to get it at its full length, you're looking at a figure that stands at a very impressive 9.8 inches in height. Now if you want to look at that in centimeters, more than happy to oblige you're looking at a figure that stands 25 centimeters tall. First things first, full disclosure up front, the display stand that I used at the beginning of this review is not something that comes included with the figure. Instead, I used it, I just pulled it from my own collection, my tickle trunk of display stands. I just want to tell you guys that this does not come with the figure, just in case anybody was thinking it came with the figure when they pick it up for themselves. So I just want to put that out there throw that out there first and foremost. There's a little bit of assembly when you get this guy out of the packaging. Uh, you have to take this part right here, and this comes as a separate piece. It is a very simple plug and play uh, case. You're just gonna take the, the shape of it and you're gonna plug it right in. It also kind of gives you an outlined idea as to which way it goes. So instead of going this way, it's gonna go this way. You can also see too where the under ridges here are painted in gold mirroring that of the way that you're going to have to put it in uh, on this one here. You just want to fit that underneath, underneath its domed helmet, and just plug that into place just like that, and you're good to go. The figure itself is fantastic. I couldn't have imagined the Scorpion Alien turning out any bit better than it did right here. Now, I do believe at one point I had owned the Kenner Scorpion Alien. In fact, memory serves me correctly, I may have actually even done the review of him. It's unfortunate though that I don't have that figure any longer because the one thing I would love to have done is to be able to do a comparison, uh, comparing the two side by side for you. So unfortunately we won't be able to do that, instead we'll just have to spend all our efforts to look at solely this figure, like that would be a difficult thing to accomplish. Like I said, I think NECA Toys has just done a fantastic job on this. Really a great job on all of their Kenner-inspired, you'll see that I'm using quotation marks right there, because these are all kind of based on the original Kenner designs. First and foremost, let's start with its head, and then we'll work our way down. Uh, a more traditional xenomorph head, almost more akin to the Aliens xenomorph, where it didn't have, of course, the dome over top. The only thing that, of course, now has changed is this rigid valley of all these spinal plates that are now protruding out from the top of its skull. It's really a spectacular sight to see. Ideally, I would imagine that the primary of the coloring for this figure is all black, and then they've just simply gone in and dry brushed or wet brushed a gold, metallic gold on all of those surfaces. It's a simple and yet so effective means of painting a figure because like all the outer areas, all the edged areas of the sculpt will pick up whatever color you're putting on it. The recessed areas will still remain the dark color. Again, it's a very successful means. NECA has been doing this for the very longest of times. And again, it works so well with these particular figures. Now, I don't want you to think this figure is simply just a xenomorph that we've gotten before and they've simply just changed the head to it. No, not far really from it. Uh, you'll see all these cool protrusions sticking out from its limbs. Spikes, where spikes normally wouldn't be on a regular xenomorph, are sticking now out on this scorpion alien. You can see all these little blades of just these sharp edged spikes sticking out. Also getting a little bit more introduced, 
to almost this reddish copper color. So it's not even just like one color that's making up the majority of this figure. Rather and still, it's actually got two colors. Of course, the base color being the black, the gold color that we've already discussed, and again, all these little smaller sections which are taped off and colored off here in the in the red. Even like the tops of its tubes get a little bit of that as well. This one doesn't really have a nice profile to it. One thing that adds on to this is these shaped protrusions that stick out from the back of its torso. Something again you wouldn't normally expect to see with a standard xenomorph alien. They kind of actually look like spiky asparagus. What a way to describe it, reviewer. Well, they're actually more like blades than I guess anything else, but again, there's the tubings that normally would stick out from a xenomorph. You get all these cool sharp edged spikes sticking out on top of that. I just want to also tell you too, they're not, they're spiky, but in no ways would you be inflicting damage. I guess if you are scraping your finger across it, maybe you may leave an impression but the only impression that should be left when looking at this figure is, my goodness, I gotta really get my hands on this. Like I said, as we get kind of over and looking, over examining the figure here, what we are introduced just to a lot of additional spikes. Things again, that really weren't there before on the standard Xenomorph. One little nice touch that I like is these openings in the legs. You can see how the hollowed areas of the thighs allow you to peek through, hello, who's in there? Oh, it's a tail. You can see like a little opening, a little slotted area there on the sides of its thighs. I really do like that. Of course, this being a stinger, uh, I was going to say in the case of this being a scorpion alien, a stinger is present and you can see it's on the end of its tail. The coloring there, they've added a lighter coloring of the gold just so that stinger spike sticks out both in sculpt and paint to the rest of its tail. You would want to stay clear of this if, of course, you saw it in real life. You can easily go near it, though, because it's made of a soft plastic. It's not going to break off or anything like that. Uh, to note as well, uh, much like regular xenomorph aliens, you've got a wireframe tail. The tail only wireframes itself to about here. I've noticed that you've got these extra holes there on the ends of the tail. This is kind of the stopping point where the wireframe no longer travels. And you can see here that this is just rubber. There's nothing There's no nothing to bend the appliance. But here, pretty much from this section to this section here, you can manipulate the tail. You can bend it until the cows come home, or the xenomorphs come home, rather. And you can just bend and manipulate that if you wish. The tails also come in rather handy as well that if you need a support for standing the alien up, you often at times can rest the alien against the tail, lean it back on the tail, and it sort of serves as a support strut for kind of keeping the figure in place. Um, one thing I would entertain the idea of doing, something I did use of course at the beginning of this review, was the display stand. Just does certainly come in handy, and luckily, uh, NECA has put peg holes on the undersides of the scorpion alien uh, feet, so you don't have to worry about that. There's really nothing I would change to this. Having, of course, collected, it seems, every incarnation of an alien that NECA has continued to produce and churn out, this might be one of my favorites. I love the spiked nature. Again, this gold pop of color against the backdrop of an otherwise dark spatial black really does make this figure stand out quite a bit. Let's look at this guy's posability, and then we certainly will wrap up this review. Now the head moves back and forth. It's a bit of a reluctant bend back and forth. You can hinge the head up and down, but there is really a lot of resistance happening when you're doing that. Before I also forget, you can drop the mouth, and inside is the smaller internal mouth. Now I do find it's loose. It doesn't really lock in place. Often at times it just drapes down and sort of just feels like it's it's a little on the limp side. You may want to kind of keep the mouth slightly a little bit more in so that the mouth doesn't drop, flop back around, back and forth on you. Again, some exquisite detail there on the mouth. You've got the tubular tube, I should say, running out from the back of its mouth. Of course, connecting itself into the upper torso section right there. Fantastic coloring. As we proceed in the journey of articulation for this guy, he does have the ball joint in the upper torso. 
Uh, he doesn't have anything in the lower torso and just want to note as well that this is a softer plastic that he did to hide and conceal the joint points there in which the legs would connect to the lower torso there. Uh, the arms hinge out. You can rotate them all the way around. You can also bend at the arm in two places, utilizing that new articulation hinge that they're bringing out for a lot of their new figures. You can also bring the arms, well, you can bring the arms all the way around. They rotate. You gotta be just careful when you are rotating it that you don't, in, a, in the process of doing so, you don't rotate the hinge joints, because if you rotate them the opposite way around, of course, the arm isn't gonna bend the exact same way. Uh, the hands also do rotate all the way around. Love the new kind of sculpt that they've incorporated for the Scorpion Alien, making it very much unique to the regular aliens that we've seen, at least their hands. Kind of actually looks, if you look at it just right, it kind of looks like a skeletal bird. There's its beak, there's its arms, there's its legs. That's going to be all you're going to be looking at from now on. You're very welcome. It's the least I could do. Then the legs hinge out. Uh, I did have one problem with this leg popping out frequently. It's just a case where they peg. I just had to pop it back into the socket. It doesn't have a swivel point from what I can see. I did notice that there's this kind of gap that's formed right here. Now, it was like that when I got this figure out of packaging. It's not so much a crack, nor is it a split. I think it's just the way that the leg was sculpted. This leg doesn't have it, or it doesn't seem as much the case here, but it's a little bit more apparent on this side here. Again, this came out of the packaging like this. It's not a case where it's broken or it's you know starting to split or anything like that. So if you see that on yours, just know it was on mine as well. Uh, when we get to the legs, the legs are on a double hinge mechanism. Of course, you've got the ankle pivot back and forth. This hinges up and down. And much like most alien figures, the alien also has toe articulation, or at the very least, the front two toes, the rest of the toes are not articulated. You can get this guy into various different poses. Of course, the various poses will determine with really be based solely on how much of a stability you can get this guy's legs in. It seems the contrast that because he does have what seems to be broader legs than some of the other xenomorphs that we've gotten before, that his stance, even without a tail, seems to be a little bit more firmer footed, a little bit more stable footed than some of the other, again, some of the other aliens that we've gotten before. Few are there ever times when I'm actually disappointed with a new NECA alien release. I get a little bit more excited, in all honesty, with a new alien figure than I do with a predator figure because what changes on the aliens uh, seems so much more drastic than what we get with a predator. Often at times we only get a brand new head sculpt, for example, on a predator, or maybe like the paint scheme changes. Aliens get a little bit more creative, especially when they delve into the archives of the original Kenner lineup based on a cartoon series that really never came to be. Uh, the Kenner stuff was really thinking outside the box, giving us unique spins on xenomorphs you would never imagine ever seeing. Predators and alien figures alike, NECA toys have gone back and sort of gone into those archives and given us updated takes to those original creatures, those original figures that we had growing up. My only disappointment comes in the fact that when we look at figures like this, my goal really was to be able to find the original scorpion alien that I had kicking around in my collection, but as it normally goes, when the time comes to hit that record button, I can't find the original toy. So sad. Still, I can live vicariously through the fact that we get brand new updated takes from those original Kenner figures. And if you ever think to yourself, I'm getting to the point where maybe I don't want to collect any more alien figures from NECA because it just seems like they reuse the mold again and again, maybe just with a brand new paint scheme. Look no further, my friends, than the stuff that they're doing that was based on the original Kenner's designs. You're getting brand new fresh takes on the original alien designs, but still sort of rooted in what could be realistically possible uh, for an alien or xenomorph to actually look like. If you guys are interested in picking up the scorpion alien for yourself, uh, you have some good news. Some good news that I can bring forth to you in this final look here. You should be able to find this new wave at your local comic book stores and retail stores right now. They're there right now. If you have managed to pick up the scorpion alien for yourself, let me know down below in the comment section what you think of this figure. We're also going to be having a look at the other two figures lined up from this wave as well, so stay tuned for that. Make sure as well you hit that little subscribe button down below, because certainly more videos also will be coming soon to this channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.